to know a little more. How does it make you feel being here, being at this beautiful, beautiful uh, celebration here and women in film here? I'm impressed by the flowers, actually. Uh, no, it, I, that's a joke. I, I really feel honored, really, really honored. Um, it's, it's unusual that um, the private sector joins up with the government to uh, offer a prize to the women in film. And mm -hmm. I think this mm -hmm. is a very, very laudable initiative. Mm -hmm. I think it's fantastic that we have this, this platform for women filmmakers and women actresses and women who work in films in general. Um, we need them. We need every one of them. I want to know a little more out of everything in your career. Like, you know, like I've been in this business 11 years, right? Like we, you know, we're storytellers, right? Like we love covering the best entertainment news. You know, we love, you know, putting people in the spotlight and talking about like cool stories because mm -hmm. that's what we're about. We're, we're journalists, right? Yes. So out of everything, after all, all your, you know, projects, what's one of your favorite moments throughout your career? One of my favorite moments in my career, dear God. I have no idea. Um, there has been one moment, like a pinnacle moment in your career, like you're like, oh my God, wow, this is fabulous. I have a strange career because for every, I, I won a lot of prizes as an actress and a lot of prizes as a director, mostly for films that English Canadians have never seen. And in almost every case, the, uh, the homage was, I'm hoping this is not the case today, but the homage was followed by uh, something awful. <laughs> and so I'm, very ambivalent uh -huh. about uh, these special moments in my career. I was the first f Canadian actress ever selected in competition at the Camp Film Festival. Mm -hmm. And there was an enormous boo-boo that happened after the uh, film was shown. And uh, I was made to walk out of a limousine in front of 1,500 people because uh, it was for the ambassador, it was not for the crew. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was so embarrassing, I cannot tell you. So <laughs> I'm... I'm this is one moment that stands up, not yeah. necessarily as a good one, but as an interesting one. But it's, it's definitely uh, a highlight, right? Yes, it's <laughs> a highlight. Being, uh, having to walk out of a limousine uh, in front of 1,500 people who's applauding the star of the show, it, it's, it's sort of set my mind straight for the rest of the career. All right, let's talk business. Okay, for yeah. more projects, what's happening for you coming up? Well, I'm, I've got a film coming out and. Um, in, uh, no, on November 1st, and it's called A Manner of Living. I don't know if it'll ever come to English Canada. Uh, I hope so, but uh, you never know. And uh, it's opening the Rouen um, Aranda Film Festival in, in Quebec. Oh, and right. it's a really nice story about three, three grown-up people who, who are trying to find some kind of peace within themselves. And it's, it's a kind of a, a um, not a road movie, but these three people are thrown into things that they didn't expect and so their life is turned upside down and, and it's a it's really interesting I, mean, I shot it up north well, whereabouts is sir sudbury and oh, thunder no. bay whereabouts much higher oh. Red, Redson, <laughs> at the limit where there's no more roads and uh, we we shot on the hydro quebec uh, central lg2 uh, in the wild in the wilderness because one of my character gets lost mm -hmm. and um it's compounded by the fact that he's Belgian, he comes from a 400 kilometer, square kilometer country and ends up in the Great Canadian North. And, um, and we had a lot of fun there. All right, well yeah. last question. Out of all the places here across Canada, because we've got a gorgeous, great white north here in Canada. I've been to Yellowknife, Yukon, Saskatoon, Alberta, Vancouver. Out of everything, what's your favorite spot, hot spot to check out? I would say I stopped in um, uh, Yellowknife on the way to Alaska and I was, Old over. Okay. I mean, if I don't move there, it's just because I'm too old. Because, she, what a gorgeous place. Uh, my most favorite place of all time. I, I travel a lot, and I keep saying to people, the most beautiful place I've ever been at, notwithstanding any other place, is Vancouver Island. And I have a soft spot for Vancouver Island. Can you elaborate why? I don't know. I just think it's the majesty of it. Uh, it it's it's one of the most I was there in 1966, so it was absolutely pristine. Um, there was no tourism. There was not even a road to cross the island. I, I went on a logging track across, the dry, I drove myself across the island. And there was something about the, the proportion, the hugeness of it, the hugeness of the, of the torrents, the hugeness of the mountains, and the hugeness of the trees, and the hugeness of the ocean. 
that just knocked me over. I almost got lost in the rainforest. And, um, and uh, I don't know. It, well, you it just made loved it. You just loved it, yeah, eh? <laughs> it made, it made a, a, such a strong, lasting impression on me. Well, listen, it, congratulations. And uh, guys, don't go anywhere because we've got so much more here with Spalle yeah. TV, Radio Network.